Hello again, grade 11 international. Today we are gonna talk about the second section of chapter 14. This is from page 405 to 408. This section is talking about community interactions, like predation, like competition, and some pieces. So let's just start. First, we need to know what's meant by community. Community is all the living species within a given area. As you see here, if you have a forest, there are many organisms or many species that they are living together and have many interactions against each other. These interactions like competition, like predation, like symbiosis. And I think most of you have heard about symbiosis before. These symbiosis have many relationships like mutualism, like commensalism, and parasitism. The first community interaction is competition. I think you have heard about competitive exclusion before, yes, in section 14.1, and mean that when all we have two species that live in, in the same place and fighting or competing for uh, the same uh, limited resources in the same habitat, this means we have a loser and we have a winner. The winner will get all the resource and the a loser will die or will be extinct by time. The second uh, community interaction is predation. Predation uh, means when an organism captures and feeds on another organism. Like you see here, we have a wolf and we have a little chick. The wolf is the predator and the chick is the prey. So the predator is a hunter and the prey is a hunted organism. So this kind of relationships, we called it or sorry, this kind of uh, interactions, we called it predation. The third community interactions is symbiosis. Symbiosis means relationship where two species live closely together. They are living closely by three relationships. Mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. The first relationship in symbiosis is mutualism. Mutualism means that both species benefit from the relationship. We have a 50-50 beneficial relationship here between two organisms. As you see here, this is a clownfish. I think it reminds you with the, the cartoon movie, Nemo, or Fighting Nemo. Yes, that's right. This is the father, which called Marlene, and this is the little kid, which called Nemo. These fishes are kind of uh, sorry. These fish are kind of uh, fish that called clownfish. They like to live in sea anemone. So clownfish lives hides among the tentacles of sea anemone. So they take the sea anemone as uh, their habitat or uh, their home, and sea anemone gets uh, cleaned, feeds off waste, and scares away predators by the help of clownfish. So both of them have. A relationship or a beneficial relationship. So this kind of relationship we called it mutualism. Another relationship of mutualism it's between the hummingbird and that feeds on the nectar of the flowers and the flower itself which are uh, pollinated by the bird. So the, when the bird feed on the nectar of the flowers it takes some of the flower pollen and fly to another uh, flower to get nectar so the pollens uh, fall in this flower and the pollination occur. So this is a kind of 50-50 beneficial relationship and we call it mutualism. The second type of relationship of symbiosis is commensalism. Commensalism means one member of a symbiotic relationship benefits and the other is neither helped or harmed. What this mean? This relationship occurs between two organisms. For example, here is a horse and here is a kind of birds called egret. This egret feeds on insects stirred up by the horse, so it helps the horse to get rid of annoying insects. But this egret feed on this kind of insects only? No, this egret can eat any kind of insects in at anywhere, so there is no problem with the egret to get food. So the relationship here is ben beneficial to the horse, not the egret. So this kind of relationship, we called it commensalism. 
The third relationship of symbiosis is parasitism. Parasitism, one organism benefits and the other one is harmed. What this means, parasitism comes from a word called parasite. Parasite is a kind of organism that find a host, attack that, that host and feed on that host till it die. Okay, for example, we have a kind of worms called tapeworms. These tapeworms like to live in the intestine of the human. This tapeworm parasite, its head like that. This is a kind of hox. This hox, that worm uses it to fix itself tightly to the host. Okay, so this kind of relationship, we call it parasitism, as this parasite starts to feed on the organ organs in the digestive system of the human and it cause a serious damage to the human that affected affected by this kind of worm so we have two types of parasites we have something called ectoparasites and something called endoparasites So again, we have two types of parasites. We have something called ectoparasite and something called endoparasite. Ectoparasite means outside. The kind of these parasites like to live outside the organisms. For example, these leeches. These leeches like to live on the surface of organisms and some people use it as a medication. The other kind or the other type is endoparasite. Endoparasites comes from inside. This kind of parasites like to live inside the organisms like the hookworm and the tapeworm as we know in the parasitism relationship. So that's all thing. Thank you for your time.